Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're unboxing something big and weird like we've never ever seen before in one of these videos. Okay guys, let's get into it. So, this critter comes to us all the way from Florida where it's hot and it's humid. It's gonna love it here in the Butterfly Conservatory. Let's see what we got. Oh, Marissa, what are you doing here? This is Marissa, uh, our assistant director here at the Butterfly Biosphere. Well, uh, I'm going through a metamorphosis right now. Let me just shed my exoskeleton. What? Oh yeah, I am now a containment director and chief entomologist. Dude, uh, that's like my job? Mine now. Oh, you're right. I'm going through a metamorphosis of my own, I forgot. I have to go back to Florida and continue my conservation work with that rodent-themed Florida-based company. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Man, that's awesome, we're in good hands. So if you're the new containment director, that means that you have to do the unboxing videos. I think I should hand this to you. Should we open some bugs together? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, man, we just got these in. Do the honors. What is it? I am so excited. These are some of my favorite types of insects. Do you have a not favorite type of insect? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> We have some leaf insects. I think we're gonna need a plant to put these on. Those are amazing. These are herbivores. So we'll have to give them the right kind of host plant that they'll want to eat, which is rose. So let's get one of these off. Look at his little antennae. Oh my gosh. That looks like a perfect leaf. And as soon as we put it on this plant, it's just gonna disappear right onto it. So is this a host plant because they look like it or because they eat it? Because they eat it. So leaf insects will eat, come on, a variety of plants, including rose, blackberry, oak, votinia. So we'll put them on this plant for right now. Is that a boy or a girl? That is a girl, and it's actually a juvenile. We can tell that because she doesn't have fully formed wings yet. She's got little tiny wing buds. We do have an adult female in here, so let's pull her out. Whoa, she's big. She is really big. And she's got a hitchhiker. She's got a hitchhiker? What's, what's that one doing? Just hanging out on her. What does their poop look like? Uh, it looks like a little black pellet. Oh, is there a word for that? Hmm, for us. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your leading questions. <laughs> now, her little hitchhiker is a boy, uh, and he's also a juvenile. We can see little wing buds on him, and I can tell he's a boy because he's got longer antenna than the two girls. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, and That's he's nice. really thin. And I do have an adult male in here as well, so we can see what he looks like all grown up. Whoa, he's got huge wings. Can he fly? He definitely can fly. They look like fairies. It's like a very fluttery type of flight, very slow. Look Not very agile. Antennae. Yeah, he's got super long antennae to help him pick up chemical signals in the air. That's how he's gonna find females in the jungle. So leaf insects are a family of walking sticks that you can find from Southeast Asia all the way down through Australasia. Um, and you typically find them in a tropical forest habitat. So I mentioned they're part of the walking stick order, which uh, entomologists called phasmida. And so the Greek root for phasmida is phantom or ghost. So as soon as we put them on this plant, they disappear. So that is their main form of defense is camouflage. And they're hiding from predators like spiders, like rodents, like reptiles, and birds. I bet we could get them to eat if we missed them with water. What do you think? Seriously? Yeah, for sure. Let me grab a spray bottle. Why does that work? So that will stimulate them to drink the water, which will also put their mouth parts in contact with the plant. And then they'll realize, oh, there's a snack under my face. Let me taste it. That's awesome. So we can see our oh, male back boy. here is starting to drink water at the very least. Look at all those crazy mouth parts. He's got like miniature fingers attached to his head. Yes. They've got, what do you call them? Labial palps? Yeah, and maxillary palps. Maxillary palps, there we go. It's like having four fingers cover your mouth and then pull your food to you so you can chew on it. They look like the predator. Yeah. I am so excited these are here. I'm gonna get right on making an exhibit for them. That way you guys can see them really soon here at the Butterfly Biosphere. That sounds awesome. I can't wait for you guys to be able to see it. And I wanna say thank you so, so much. I am so proud of getting the Butterfly Biosphere open, what we've done, and so thankful for you guys for being so enthusiastic about these insects. 
I never could have dreamed I'd make videos about insect poop and like tens of thousands of people would watch it. It blows my mind. Thank you so much. If you like what you saw in the video, like the video, share it with your friends so we can grow our colony of bug nerds. Uh, subscribe so you can see more videos in the future and if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And of course, you're welcome to come on down to the Butterfly Biosphere, see all these cool bugs in person. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye!